Hello, everyone. What's up? Defunks, how you doing, bud? Uh, we are starting a little early tonight. Uh, Chris went to L.A. over the weekend. Los Angeles. And I figured he probably has a lot of things that he could say. You know, a lot of experiences. There was a lot So weekend. we didn't want to cut into gameplay time too much, so I figured we'd start early and kind of let Chris go over his, uh, his experience. Um, we brought back some, uh, some goodies. Some spoils. Some spoils um, so from yeah. the weekend. Um, you, uh... Yeah, so I went to the Pro Tour. Um, left Thursday. Got there Thursday night, afternoon. Had some decent dinner. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, Friday, we had a bunch of stuff. So I didn't play in the Pro Tour. I didn't play in the Calling. I didn't play in um, anything like too crazy, right? Um, I played in the Battle Hard on Sunday because it was Living Legend. And that's, that's where I wanted to be. Um, so I played in side events. I went to... What's up, Kuzco? Awesome meeting you, too. Thanks for saying hi. I really appreciate the, everybody that did come up and say hi to me because, obviously, I don't recognize you guys. You guys see my face. So um, it was cool to meet. I met, like, five or six people that knew us. I had one person, one of the judges who helped me. Um, she goes, I recognize your name. I'm like, oh, awesome. You watch the stream. She goes, you stream. And I'm like... <laughs> How do you recognize my name? That's terrifying. <laughs> she goes, oh, uh, I know you from Facebook Marketplace because you sell a lot of gold foils. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, that's weird, but all right, we'll take it. Um, so I played side events all weekend. Um, I played in the Energy Pot Potion one first at nine on Kale. Um, had a horrible fucking time. Um, I'm in a weird funk with CC in general right now. Um, and it just, it translated into that and it started my weekend out really weird. So then I was like, all right, well, next round is going to be Blitz. So let's play some Blitz and see how I do, you know? And just, just grind for the side event tickets and everything. I had a goal of getting one cold foil rune chant for myself. Mm -hmm. um, they're 1,200 tickets, which is a good chunk, you know? Um, something's sitting in there. We got one of them. Um, I'll go through that that in a second. Um, so I played in Blitz. Uh, first event, I went 4 all on Vincent. So I was like, cool, we got a bunch of tickets. We're already like three quarters of the way there to get the cold foil rune chant. We're just going to play Blitz for the rest of the, the event. Um, so I ended up playing in a total of five Blitz events over the course of the weekend. That's a lot of Blitz. It was a lot of Blitz. That's a lot of Blitz for someone up. that doesn't really like love Blitz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big Blitz fan. Um, never have been, never will. Um, but I've, I've always done well in Blitz for some reason. I think it's because I play greedy, mm -hmm. and that's what translates into Blitz, and that works for me. So my first one was 4-0, then I went 2-2, then I went 3-1, then I went 4-0, then I went 3-1 in the team event, and then 3-1 in the final. So total of 19-5. and five. That's pretty good. Pretty good on Vincent. Um, all on Vincent? All on Vincent. Did not yes. play a single other deck. Um, didn't bring any other Blitz decks. So that was a blast. Um, we ended up winning a Cold Foil Crucible. Nice, nice. Vaser Wave. Um... We got we got the awesome promos, three of them. We got the play set, so we got the epot play set there. Those were Pretty fun. Cool. Um, signatures were a fucking hard to do this year. Um, so well, there really wasn't that many people. There was only like four. Uh, Asur Asur Misoa, who mm -hmm. does the chromize and everything. Uh, chromize uh, the Mai. She was only signing three at a time. Here, three at a time. I'll let you hold them while I'm talking. Three cards at a time. That's all she did. Oh, and the wait nice. was an hour to do it. Jeez. She uses a ruler to do portions of her sketches. So she signs them, right? And then she uses a ruler to do the shadow. That was um, so good. The, her signature is fucking beautiful. So we did that one. Um, and we also got uh, Thamai, I think it is. Or yeah. Th Themis. This is my favorite one. Um, so Adam Cook, one of our, our teammates, friends, um, Visrai. Um, friend uh, sent me these to get them signed by her, so I got those done for her. Had to go through the line twice. That was <laughs> that looks so two good. hours. It was great, but it's good. Um, and then Isardi, Isardi, is I don't know. I don't know. So, so I have two Nazareth now. Okay. <laughs> so he's like, hey, make sure you wait some time before you put it into the sleeve, and blah 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 blah. Um, yes, it is, Drew. This is this is what I brought back for myself and other people involved in this us. Isn't so, <laughs> he signed mine. Okay. I put it in the sleeve too early. 
so it got a little oh, fucked up. No. And then I didn't have time to get back in there. It's not terrible. It's a little it scuffed. Doesn't look that it doesn't bad. look that bad. No, it's when you, you really won't look. even be able to tell on camera. No, no, yeah. I can't wait till we get our camera. Yeah. Um, we did get to talk to Ethan Van Mansant, who uses this camera for the Savage Feast. Yeah, we've been messaging him a lot in the background because we want to make sure that we bought a good camera. So, like, he told us that this is the exact one that he uses. He's gonna help us try to calibrate it because we should be able to get the level of clarity that like the Pro Tour video gets because the mm -hmm. same, camera, same camera, same equipment. But Pretty close to the same, yeah. We're just camera dumb and don't know what we're doing. So, so um, what else <clears throat> I ended up getting two cold foil rune jams. Nice, nice. Um, That's cool, but I got something better. You did. I found something better for you. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that awesome Victor. I guess I can just get rid now. of my Marvel Victor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. why would you ever play with him? Need James needs one. You can give it to him. <laughs> yeah, I'll sell it to him. <laughs> I got the real um, Victor. So I got that. Um, I'm a pack whore. You know that. Yeah. Um, so I always buy packs like crazy, especially when I'm down. So I ended up going to MinMax Saturday morning to get a little, or was it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday morning uh, to get a little boost in energy. And I bought four packs, two Dust Till Dawn, two Dynasty. And my dynasty packs were Black Texan Sandscour, which was awesome. Not bad, not bad. And then I had a friend reach out to me looking for some some specific cards, so I tried doing some dealing, and I ended up getting a playset <sighs> of the sigils. I'm so jealous. I know. God. Um, the sigils are fucking beautiful. So I got him those. Um, he also had me pick up something else for him, which was Mangol uh, Mangolia Games. Magnolia. Magnolia, thank yeah. you. Um they had, had a they box. Had the box then, right? <clears throat> it was basically, it looked like a normal box. It was a little bigger, so it was really hard to, to pack and bring yeah. home, so I didn't do that. Um, but it came with a uh, resource, Magnolia resource coin, um, as well as a... The surfboards. Surfboard yeah. with Go Again, Dominate. Yeah, that hey, Defunks. Yeah, shout out to Magnolia Games. They are really cool people there. Yes. Uh, I remember when me and James went to the Calling Dallas, they found out that James was like just getting into the game, and they gave him, I think, like three Blitz decks for free. Mm. Yeah. Just like, didn't awesome. target anything. It was super cool. Um, so they bought this, so we're going to open this in a second. Um, yeah, so all of this came, this came with in it, the box. And then so you get the. Yep. The thing. It, came, it comes with. Is, so it's just one? It's, is it double sided? Double sided, yeah. 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 So it's it's. One pack from each set. Yep. And then what it was was one pack can be first set of WTR, Arc, or Crucible. Okay. With a chance. Well, they surprised a lot of people and put a little Easter egg in there. Monarch and Tails are both first set as well. Nice. For both packs. So, James ended up with a Arc first pack. That's cool. Happy birthday, Arcane Rising. That's very cool. For today. Um, so, we're going to open this today. Um, we're going to obviously open backwards but this is one of the last ones um yeah, let's, let's start cracking and then, up last thing i did was the the apparel this was the first event they had apparel oh the, yeah the yeah. line had 200 people in it when it first opened i was i thought i wasn't getting anything so i got a vincent shirt because I got a mommy um i got a normal one which was just the gray one with the blue logo on there yeah. because it looks really cool and then i got one of the white sweatshirts which is a super thin lightweight sweatshirt which was awesome to wear for most of the time because it's not warm there right now but it's not cold enough to wear a sweatshirt all the time yeah it's la yeah as well as like the min max sweatshirt that i have that i love it's just a thick thick wisconsin yeah. style sweatshirt you know so it sucks putting it in your bag and then walk around but if you spend 200 dollars at the um apparel event you got a cool little that is cool token i don't really so, know what you'd use it for but like that's the whole point of it drew it's been set iron maiden so they made it the iron maiden shirt it was yeah yeah i don't know what i would use this for it's cool though yeah this is just another cool memo memo memorabilia thank you jesus <laughs> fuck dude i'm done it's okay long way anyways down. yeah um so yeah let's uh we let's did that opening some packs this. um we are gonna have a slight change to the stream tonight what? Um, because Why? Pro Tour was this weekend. Well, crazy, I know. Um, there was a deck that was, like, kind of doing pretty okay at Pro Tour. Um, Weirdly enough, isn't it? And it's not Hatchet Dory, because we already have that built and we're going to play it tonight. Uh, but Viscerai was doing pretty Viscerai was doing pretty good. Decent. I spent a good time watching these Viscerai players. And 
as a Viscerai enjoyer, I thought it would be cool if instead of the decks that we had planned, um, you put together a version of the Viscerai deck and play it into the two decks that we were going to play tonight. Yeah. So, so still going to be playing the Hatchet Dory list and still going to be playing KO. It's just both of them are going to be into Viscerai. Sounds good. I thought that would be pretty cool. Hey, Zach, how's it going? What's up, Zach? Um, I forgot the guy's name that I'm the, of the deck that I'm playing for this one, so... But... <clears throat> Where are the M's in this pack? Um, which one? Oh, wait, no, you don't, you're not guaranteed. No, that's right. I was like, I only have rares. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pull out the packs first, but... Where's my fucking M? <laughs> Ooh, foil lost in the thought. That's pretty good. That's pretty hot. That's really good. Come on, outsiders. What do you want? Outsiders. We're keeping up. Black text? Black text? Black text? Oh. That's Dynasty. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, this is Frailties. Speaking of uh, the weekend... Oh, fuck. That's a good hit. Oh. That's a really good hit. Speaking of <laughs> what happened this weekend, we got some spoilers on New Heroes, which super excited about. Um, and because of those spoilers, these have kind of shot up in price a little bit. Yes, they have. Um, so that is definitely a good hit. What do you want right now? Uh, this is Dustal Dynasty. Dynasty. Um. <laughs> Let her finish it out with us. There you go. Gotta do it on camera. You gotta do it on camera. New, new looks awesome. New does look awesome. I am I... super excited for the whole set, honestly. It looks basically just like the opposite of Draconic. Like, it seems like it's just going to be like Blue Matters. Um, well, Fog now. And I think that's going to be really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I actually really fucking like the look of Enigma. Weird Enigma enough. looks cool. The her um, young Marvel. I think New looks awesome. Mm. The Marvels look great. The only Marvel that I don't like that of the six that they revealed is the young ninja. Yeah. yeah. And even then, like, the art's not bad, but, like, the other ones, all five of them look amazing. Uh, so I'm super excited for that set. Well, this, so, this is this a good hit be, so Yeah, far. this will be um, first ed. So we have a possibility of getting a cold foil now. I mean, we did with all the Fab 2.0s technically, but... yeah. Yep. So this is James's. Mm -hmm. He bought the um, the Magnolia the Magnolia thing. box mm -hmm. set thing. So it always trips me up that like the the hit cards always change and every like, set the location of them in the pack. Yeah. Also, did you see that the new set is gonna be eight card packs? Or, yeah. No, 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 eight, no, no, no something packs. different. Some uh, weird. It's, it's eight card sealed. Or eight packs sealed. Yes, eight packs sealed. Instead of six, it's eight because they I think they took a card out or two. Yeah. Um, super weird. It's awkward because like it made it's gonna make us have to raise the price of our pre-release that from what it normally is, you know? Because like you have to get more packs. Mangle. Our foil reaping blade. Always. Why is this card not a fucking one hand? By the way, this does not look like a two-handed weapon. You cannot put two hands on that blade. It, this this was an issue this weekend. Are we, um, are we we're gonna go to WTR. Okay. Um. Hey Joshua, how's it going, man? Because there is a first set pack out of these four, and it's Arcane Rising. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you're, you're that's that's super. Um. Well, Hurricane technique, foil nimbleism, which is All right. a card. So many So this is what's gonna happen. Flipping ribbit. That <laughs> that is gonna be a cold foil eye. Okay. This is gonna be a foil CNC. Done. Deal. Done. Let's go. Go ahead and open yours. I, a lot of you guys don't know, but I'm a fucking freak for for arc packs. I've opened probably twenty so boxes at minimum. Um, Robin just two years ago for Christmas got me a first ed pack, and I lost my fucking mind. <laughs> 
Gavin got to experience it when I opened the box and and got to see that this was first dead. He saw me start pacing and everything. I started sweating. Get a mortgage tie. That's pretty good right now. That's a card to hold on to. And All right, your turn. All righty. Hit something sweet. Where is it? The same setup. Like in the middle, right? Oh uh, yeah, it was in the middle. It was like four or five cards, and then the rest. So the cool thing about Ark is a lot of cards are just worth money. So just go one by one. Yep. Come to fight. I love the saturation of these sets. Let's keep going. Whisper. Force. Four runner. Yellow plunder run. Both of the Ark Knight. Rare. Ridge Rider shot. Common. Damn. Achilles, over Lou, hamstring, throttle red, second shot, voltic bolt, drawn to dark dimension, and an index. And a vis ride first then. Alright, so uh, no eye. No eye, nothing crazy. But cool hits, though. like yeah, not bad. That's fun. Like this this specifically is kind of insane right now. Uh, the codex? Those jump How much did they long. jump? I think they're like sixty bucks right now or and something. And why? Because oh, of the new. assassin. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. All of the all of the assassin cards right now are going kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then sort of like the ninja cards and shit. But. Well, thanks James for letting us actually open it on stream. That was yeah. fun. I enjoyed that. Let's uh let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. There's that. Let's we'll play some Flesh and Blood. Did I want to play some more Flesh and Blood? I'm not Flesh and Blood dog. Yeah, you didn't get enough this weekend? Uh, hey, Agro, how's it going? Are you supposed to be streaming? Yeah, isn't he? Wasn't he streaming Wednesday? He plays games with uh, yeah. Carly. Look who it is. Oh, we caught him. No, we shouldn't. Uh, okay, so I really like um, the Hatchadori deck. I think it's super fun. I think I want to start on that one. Okay. Uh, we played a few games of it, and it seems kind of strong. Um, Did you see the other news from this weekend? Uh, the drum iron? Metal thing? fab? No. The nine and zeros? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, man, just look at us influencing the uh, the token market. Well, we're uh, putting together a cart to order a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yeah, so we... I, I'm sure everyone has seen it. Maybe they haven't, but we we got a bunch of cool swag from Metal Fags, Fabs. They gave us a bunch of free stuff, and then we bought like the rest of it to kind of supplement it. Um, but then I 3D printed this holder for it um, just to kind of hold it really nice. And there were these two slots in the back that I left specifically so that if they made a 9-0 token, we could, have, we could do it. And with the 9-0 token, you can make numbers up to 99 because if you needed to do like multiple digit numbers right now, um, it's a little awkward. Um, first of all, you can't really do nine. You would have to do like seven and two. And then you couldn't do like 20 if you needed to, mm -hmm. or 10, you can do 10. So the nine zero should make it so that we could use these pretty effectively. So I'm super stoked that they took the idea and actually went with it, because that is awesome. Um, kind of thinking I pull up. I also got these. I got a play set. Oh, nice. The yeah. foils? Uh, these are the promo foils, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those, are, I, those are like a little pricey for a card that not a lot of people play. Not a lot play. of people play. Also, I picked up my final foil Reduce the Rune Champ. Hey, uh, Captain Jolly promo, Rogers. How's it so going? It was fun. Great a lot pulls. of stuff. I haven't found a new game to stream yet tonight. Oh, I you should uh, you should play uh, Baldur's Gate. I know I... I mentioned it on your stream um, when you guys beat um, A Way Out, but that game is super fun, and I feel like you and Carly would enjoy it. Okay, so we definitely want Null Rune. We want the value on the Dynamos. Uh, let's see. Cards we don't want. The Cleave is kind of whatever. The Steel Blade is probably whatever. I think she is going to be, but they said that it, nobody's guessed it. So, and I think I've seen this guess happen before where when you pitch something, a specific card, it creates chi. But I don't know. I think it might be like 
rupture where you create four draconic chain links, then you create a chi or something with ninja, right? I just hope it's not an accumulating resource that is like tracked elsewhere. Cause like magic had something like that with what Kaladesh. So like so like like you just have to track it by knowing that like I have two chi, you know? Like it's not a token, it's not anything that's like mm. on the board. You just have to keep track of a number. I hope it's not that. Because magic had that in a set called Kaladesh where all of your cards produced energy. So then you had to keep track of how much, how much energy, energy you had during yeah, the game. No. But you can't, there you can't interact with your opponent's yeah. energy like at all. Yeah. So like, I hope it's not that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just, I hope they do something different than that. I, I mean, if it's a token that you keep count like a, like a tunic resource, I think it's something like that. I, Joshua, I think Aura Illusionist is back. I, I picked up a play set of Shimmers uh, over the course of the weekend because those are going to be hot. Um, I actually wanted to get a Spectral Shield Cold Foil just in case. I actually like Enigma because I enjoyed Prism back in the day. I just didn't play a lot of it. I didn't have enough time to go dig into it. So, <coughs> so probably run it like this. I need to find somebody that wants to trade a cold foil justice now. Yeah. Now that I'm playing a deck, messing with. The I deck. think that it would have just been a good pickup anyways. Like yeah. card's so good. Yeah. Like it's not going to be great into every meta, but anytime there's a good deck that's trying to draw multiple cards, like it's a good card, you just jam it in your sideboard. Like. Yep. The uh, the part that I've enjoyed from messing with this deck so far is that my provenance. A lot of times I want it to fix my hand. And I don't want to block on a non-needed spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now I get to do that where I can block and then hold it back for later. I'm going to try... Where's my providence? I'm going to try to fix something with the camera really quick. I yeah. feel like our screen is a little dark. And we got a bunch of... Oh, is it just a matter of pulling this closer? How the fuck did I lose my phone? That's better. At least for now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't wait for us to talk to Man Sam about what we need to do to fix this because. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I tried talking a little bit to him, but he was so busy this week and I couldn't see. Dude, they were killing it this weekend. The yeah. stream was so good. Yeah. They did a really good job. I I couldn't see any sort of like major like hiccups or anything. Like they just crushed it. Really good casting team. Uh, I think Sam O'Byrne does a really good job casting. Yeah. He's probably like one of my like favorite up and coming casters that they've been like using a lot recently. Um, he just brings like a lot of really good energy. <coughs> Woo! Jesus, Whoa. fuck. Why are you so aggressive? Alright. Don't kill me too hard. Got to meet a couple of cool people too. Um, Anna, who does a lot of Rune Blade stuff, makes a bunch of the, yeah. that stuff. Lady, I met her. Lady Rune Channel? Yeah, her name yeah I met her. I got some, got some uh, tokens and some bookmarks. And she does a lot of really cool craft stuff. Um, played her husband in the team event. And sat down and he goes, ooh, cool, a room blade. And then his partner, his, one of his teammates, was like, you're going to enjoy this game, Christopher. And I'm like, Christopher, your name, cool, linked up. <laughs> uh, even. All right. Uh, I will go first. Um, yeah, I, I remember seeing her post on Twitter, a yeah. Katsu mug that I thought was really cool. Jesus, aggro. You bought a what aggro? Uh, yes, let me nice. send Rob. Yeah, sorry, this was a, this was a last minute Very uh, last. update to our... What time did you mess with me today? Like 1 o'clock? <laughs> yeah. You got your vis deck on with you? Yeah, send it to me and I'll post it in the... Uh... Yep. And this is I'll... one of the, um, the decks that was played over the weekend. I'm just messing with it for fun. I'll update the, uh, the description as well. Okay. Uh, well, we are definitely starting our turn by taking that. Are you sure? Okay. 
I think so. You know, it's a good idea. And then oh, I want the shirt. Stream. I wanted you to pick me up some uh, merch. Dude, it's expensive <laughs> right now. <laughs> so expensive. Oh, I just couldn't justify it. <laughs> T-shirts for forty bucks. Sweatshirts for sixty it's and ninety. Kind of crazy. Uh, can we push damage on this turn? Eight, nine, two and nine. You have a lot of two blocks in your deck, so maybe. Uh, we are going to catch a buddy. Uh, we're gonna start by blocking three. Uh, we will blade runner. Yep. Uh, close chain. Mm -hmm. Plus three. Nine. Block six. Take three. Yep. Look at that. Good damage. Go to arsenal. Tunic. Uh, till it goes lower. As Robert said, won't be good in every meta. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's good in this one. <laughs> Is that new? Uh, I picked that up at um, Odd Willows last week. Mm -hmm. They had them. They're selling them now. So I picked that up because I play Tunic a little more often than I used to. Um, and I like the feel of it. It's just... Yeah. I don't know why. I wish the the edges were a little bit bigger so you could see more. Yeah. Especially like right now. I'm going to actually switch to that first stream. Um, an interesting play and I don't know if I want to do that. Is anyone in chat? Or was anyone in chat at LA? I feel like you said there weren't as many people at one. Which makes sense. Like, LA is inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Dark Odious was there. Okay. Um, <laughs> did you see my Twitter? No. <laughs> so, Peter... Budensic. Budensic, yes. And there's another guy that looks very similar to him. So, I was playing Peter. Guy was sitting next to me. And then they made a post about Dark Odious made it happen or something. And I thought that was the guy that I was sitting next to was Dark Odious. And I was like, you didn't even say fucking hi to me after sitting next to me and yelling at us all week. And uh, I guess he was at the, the the Pro Tour. I just didn't yeah. recognize him. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to play Mordred Tide. Um, we're going to then pitch two into Grasp. Um, floating one resource to create two rune chance. And then we're going to play a Consuming Voilation. So, question is: yes, sir. Is this list the list that was doing really well this weekend, or is this your own creation? This is the list. Um, the guy that was wearing the Meep shirt. I okay. think his name was Jordan. Yeah. I think it was Jordan. I think it was card three. For card? Yes, okay. I have not changed anything yet. I'm I'm just starting to mess with it just to see what how it feels for me. Yeah, so yeah. far, it, it I've got probably 10, 15 games on it, and it feels feels pretty good. I started. I just started messing with um, John's list next. Um, on Talishar, and that list feels different. It, they're both very different lists. Sure. Uh, we're going to AB2, mm -hmm. and then go to reactions. Yep. And this has got the on hand. Yeah. an option. Yeah. Um, uh, bottom. So his, the other guy's list plays Reaping Blade. So now there's three different Visk lists running around where you got OTK, you got Nebula Blade, or you got Reaping. So. Gotcha. Go ahead. Uh, take a tunic. Uh, play a hit and run. Yeah. Ask your body. Sounds like something I would show up and not say hi. <laughs> Don't do that. Are you going to be at uh, Nats, Joshua? I know a lot of people are going to be there. Uh, coming in for two, Gogan. Yeah, Defunks, this Vist list is very different. But it was doing well. Like, it didn't top it or anything, but Listen, like, he was why? winning, right? Like. Fucking Wyatt. God damn. Rob knows that I can't deck build. All right? He knows. <laughs> um, Alrighty. So we are going to want to play out ours. 3740. So this list kind of low, runs very weird. It, it abuses some creeper actions, so we're actually going to take no no blocks here. Uh, I'm going to take the damage. Take two. Take two. Um, we'll just hatch the mine for three. No blocks. 
Uh, go to Arsenal. Okay. I'm going to go to two. Uh, Joshua, you can still, like, if you wanted to, you could still go. There's going to be a calling. There's going to be side events. Uh, you don't have to have an invite to go. Listen, Defunct, that was in the list, and that's why I like this deck list. The other deck list mm. plays three tomes. Alex M., one of our newer teammates, newer players, yeah. um, got to learn yesterday that tomes always hit. He's like, that card should never hit. And I'm like, but it always hits. <laughs> Um, alrighty, so we are going to start off play, playing one of the newer disc cards, Runic Reckoning. Um, costs one less for each enchant I control. Yep. It's plus three to the next attack. Yep. Turns on Viscerai. It's great. Great. It's great. Uh, we are going to pitch one for a Amplify the Arc Knight. So coming in for two and nine. Still have two cards in it? Oh, we don't have them in it. Thought we had yeah, two cards in hand still. Mm. We'll take the two rune chance. Yep. Nine? Yeah. Hmm. Do you have the other link? Oh, the yes. link for the other. Yes. Um, the other link, the other deck plays Galaxia. I think I'm going to say no blocks on the Amplifier. Okay. Send you this one. Deck link. For our armory tomorrow, we agreed to let a local bring Lexi. Interesting. In a CC armory? Um. All right, here's that other link. We're gonna spend one to activate creepers. Yep. Um, we're gonna play a become the arc knight. Okay. Creating room champ. Yep. I'm trying to decide if I want to give this up and just, yeah, we will. Um, no, we won't. We're just gonna play it to get go again. And then we're going to play a two and four Swarming Gloom Veil. So did you Creepers this just for the go again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take the two rune chants for sure. Uh, you do not have resources for Nebula Blade, nope. correct? I'm off by one and turn. You're not running the stupid card. Um... We definitely want to get our value here, so we will block four and four. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't block with this. Was there, there was no on hit on the... No. I mean, there's an on hit, but... What was the on hit? On what? On the swarm? No. Uh, it's just the on hit. You can't block Arcane for the rest of the turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, take it on the chin instead. Yeah. So then I will take one damage. Uh, I need the Agility Token. Yep. Draw okay. pass. So take up Tunic. Uh, we will cleave okay. for plus four. And then Hatchet of Body. Uh, this for six. is for six. We will no block there. Take six. And then we will hatch it of mind. Uh, this is for three. No block on that one. I'm going to activate tunic and I'm going to play blade runner. Interesting. Okay. So take three. Yep. And then we will hatch the body for three. How can you swing? Because it's ruined too. Oh. Someone wasn't watching the Pro Tour this week. No, I was not. I'm being dumb. Yeah, this deck uh, swings three times pretty well. Wow. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take three. Okay. Refresh Dynamos. Yeah, you need... You typically want your tunic counter for it because it yeah. makes it easier. And then... Uh, I like that. You need usually an agility. Cool. Yeah. 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 It's super strong. It's so much damage. Gonna play Sonata. 
You get a hit. Yep. Arcane Crackle. Yep. It's the last um, time you've seen that card. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. That was the first thing I noticed in this list, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to play this list. It's got Crackle. I'm like, I'm gonna play it just to see how it does. Right. It's interesting. I think I'll pay the one. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are going to. Yeah, why this uh, this list is super fun, and it feels very strong. Um, I was surprised to see that. so many people on it this weekend. That, it seemed like a yeah. It seemed like a secret that like everybody knew about, but one and one and one and three. One. One and three. So we'll just use the last two resources yep. here. Uh, for three. Uh, I think we're just going to take the three. Okay. Uh, we're going to activate creepers again. Yep. By pitching a shard. It's just going to go to two. Uh, that's going to go to two. We're going to pay one to play a incantation. Yep. It's going to go to three. We'll get go again back. Um, and then we will grab Tunic, and the last one to play uh, Nebula Blade for two and four. So if I block out the Arcane here, you're going to lose your Creepers. Yes, correct. And you have to have dealt damage equal to the number of counters on it? Correct. So I can block one, and you would still and lose I'd your still Creepers. still lose my Creepers, because you blocked all the other Arcane, yes. Okay. Yeah. Which, so, you're asking it because you're you're questioning my thought process, I'm guessing, with it, or are you just questioning it? I just want to make sure, make sure okay. I understand um, the way that it works. So, we haven't seen a lot of Mauvern Skies yet. Yeah. And we're getting towards that portion where I feel comfortable giving up Creepers because I'm not going to be... I'm going to start seeing those coming in soon. Yeah. So I think I should make you lose Creepers here. It is a big play. It's just a question of whether or not I want to pitch a red or a blue to it. Blocking out the Nebula Blade also is important. Yeah, it does which have the on -hit I will be doing. I think I'll AB1. Take one. Yeah. And then we're going to block for four. Okay. Blow up. Don't get a real turn this turn, but I feel like Our getting rid of the Creepers pass. is worth it. Take up two I wonder why they made this card get banished after using it. Uh, we're going to play Goblet. Okay. Just make an agility and a vigor, and then pass back. So we're going to get the tunic. We're going to create a rune champ. Joshua, I think that the grains list is cool. Like, I really liked Josh Lau's uh, list, and it seemed like it was running really well. He also ran the Decimator uh, in the sideboard, which I was a huge fan of. But I think you get so much value off of playing Tunic in this deck. It's crazy. Runic Reckoning going to three Rune Chance. Yep. Mob Skies going to five Rune Chance. Yep. Uh, and then we'll play an Amplify the Arc Knight. So five and nine on hit create two. I'm sorry, create three off Mordor Tide. Hmm. Five and nine. You have no cards. No cards in hand. One in resources hand. floating. So you could maybe end on like a read the runes if you had that. I think blocking nine is probably going to be correct here because with all of this, we still get to have a one card to hatchet turn. I don't think I want you creating resources off the moths, guys. So we're going to take the five mm -hmm. rune chance uh, and then we will block for nine. Okay. We'll pass turn. Uh, so start a turn. Tokens are going to pop. Mm -hmm. Get a resource. And then we'll go Hatchet of Body for two. Go again. We're going to block two here. 
Yeah, Joshua, I agree. The the shunt, it's only one that was in his list, but like, mm. I like it a lot. Yeah, it will go like that. Okay. Uh, and then we will pitch and come in for three. Uh, we'll take three here. All right, refresh diamonds. We forgot to take up the two anchor. Start so turn game right down. Now. Go for the three. Play Mordor Tide. Okay. Um, play a Modern Skies. Yep. I, I got Four, it, Agro. I got five. it. Um, go to play a Spellblade Assault. I'm sorry, not Assault. Spellblade Strike. We don't mm -hmm. play Assaults anymore. Uh, creating two, which is total of four. Two, and then two. Um, so now you do have the resources left over. Oh, do I have to just take the five brain chance? And then... I guess... Edgar, are you going to Nats by any chance? Hmm... We're going to take the five, and then we'll block for four. Okay. <laughs> That's Riku's job. Three cards in hand? Yep. Um, we will... Play Spellblade Strike for four and four. And this has no go again. This does not have go again. This just guarantees that I get my on or my yeah. ring chain creation, so. Mm -hmm. I think we have to take the four. Okay. And then we'll fade. Sounds good. And get on top. Took a tunic. Did I miss tunic that turn? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, we will send Hatchet a body for two. Uh, no block here. Uh, we'll play Glint to get it going. Okay. Take two. Yep. And then Hatchet back for three. We'll take three here. Refresh diamonds. That's really unfortunate. I was hoping you wouldn't have dynamos on this hand. Tunic. We'll take this to five. Um, we're going to play Mauvins, guys. Okay. Red Mob into guess what color blue drone. This was my favorite combo with Dromai. I just kill an Ashwing for free, basically. Um, and then I draw a card. Um, oh, we'll baby. AB3 mm -hmm. and take two. Mm hmm. And then I'm going. All gas, no brakes. Uh, tunic. Mm -hmm. We play a tome. Okay. So, close the chain. We need this to whiff here. It's pretty good. Tomes always hits. Two good ones. Um, so, tome hit. Uh, those go back into hand. We've drawn three cards this turn now. This is awesome. We're going to play the Sonata. Okay. Turn to three. Looking for a blue. It's pretty good. Get the blue. One arcane coming in at you. Uh, I'm gonna tunic and then yeah. pay one. Still wonder why the great axe was in the list of Lao. Um. There are no breaks in in the viscera I life. I think that the Great Axe was probably there for the, the Guardian Mirror. Because I think without the Great Axe, this list uh, gets fatigued pretty bad by Guardians. So you've seen these two cards, so I'd rather play these now. Keeping as much information behind as I can. So uh, three and four on hit create two. A little AB3. Gotcha. And then the four is a little awkward. I think I 
probably give you the tune here. Okay. So uh, two cards? Yeah. Close the chain. Playing a Mob of Skies. Okay. Give me two. Um, and then we'll play an Amplify the Arcanite. So two, yep, down to one. Unfortunately, we don't have the two, the resources to swing Nebula after, but... I take two, block three, and then go to one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. And then that creates two, so we go to yeah, three. That's disgusting. Then we pass turn. Okay, I'd lose this turn. Yeah, this list seems very good. It's, it's interesting. Um, the problem that I foresee is that, so, draw my leaves. Right, let's finish this game and then we can talk about it. Um, I gotta make a decision here. And I don't like this decision. Um, so we're gonna play Sonata. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pitch two into it. Okay. So when Dromai leaves, I think that a lot of the meta can go into fatigue mode. Yeah. Because there's nothing holding them back. New Prism doesn't hold fatigue decks back. Um, she's more of an aggro deck than a build up a board state deck. You know, she has an option of trying to, but I don't think she has enough sideboard cards to do that. So, is this something that you're considering for the Pro Quest season? Um, I'm not playing in the Pro Quest season probably. No. Um, Probably not. I'm probably on Katsu, to be honest. I've been messing with that and having fun with it. So that gets banished. Um, I think we just force you to block stuff by playing... Ooh, do we give the Revel up? So we create a breakpoint by playing an incantation, okay. right? By going to four here. It takes two cards from hand now. And then this also comes in for four and four, so I eat up equipment, leave you with one card hand, then you can't do much to me. Uh, well, maybe five or four, and then okay, yeah. So you still have the equipment, which is great for you. Uh, I missed my tune this turn. My turn? Yep. Six down, two goes up, we go to one. I'm gonna play Red Moth. Mm -hmm. mm. It doesn't matter, that's just a Gorgon card now. Um, pitching a Become the Arc Knight. So one and one. Drawing card. A, B. And then. I think we're gonna give crown here and they're gonna sink a card for you. Okay. And then we're going to pitch three into grasp to create a second rune chant. Okay. Um, and then we've got two floating, so we'll never be able to blade then. Two and two and four. So we'll AB two with the, the yep. remaining. And then sink it. Sink it. Oh my god, I get a turn. You get a turn. And it actually does something. Hit and run. Pitch shift. Come in for two. Um, we'll grass black block that. Play four. Let's go. Take two. Yep. Five. Take four. Five. Refresh animals. Tunic. This takes down. Go to one. Mob skies. Mm -hmm. Draw. Uh, coming in for one and three on it. Create three. Draw. Um, AB one. Mm -hmm. And then block three. Gotcha. Um. Play out another incantation. 
Perception. Okay. One, and then we're going to some, ooh, go to. I don't know if you play Oasis. Mm. So two, two, and one. So we are going to AV the rune chance. Yep. And then we are going to like, take it on the chin. Mm. Get an agility token. Right about Black that. Yeah. Staying alive. I don't know how, dude. <laughs> I don't know either. All right. Uh, hatchet of body for two go again. Jeez. Andy still has a card to swing. <laughs> With going in. Okay. I'm, I am presenting five damage this turn, and you are at five, so. Uh, block one. Yep. Take one. Yeah. And then three. Uh, we will. This is crazy. <laughs> Thought I'd be dead by now. I'm pretty sure I die next turn, but we'll block or we'll take three. Yep. Um, hold on, sorry. You play shunts. Let me map this out. Go to two. Refresh Dynamos. I think we've gotten like five value off of Dynamos this game. Yeah. It's pretty good. Go to three. We will play a Mauve. Okay. Into a Drawn. Go three and three, draw. A, B, three. Okay, cool. Walk for three. All right. Um, we will play a Swarming. So one and four. Yeah, you got. Yeah, and then rebel. Interesting list, isn't it? It is. It is surprisingly aggressive. Like I feel like it. So it doesn't have the typical uh, crown uh, cash in package that you would expect a like aggressive Visrylist to have. Mm -hmm. But like it still does a really good job of like, presenting those aggressive turns. I miss shrill and I miss assault a lot, but this yeah. deck is. Interesting to say the least. You want to do one more of this and then switch to KO? Yeah. Um, side note. So I've been talking with a couple people about the the correct weapon for Viscerai. Nebula Blade's pretty cool, but it, it it hurts the cost curve, right? Like the the old school cost curve of what Viscerai did, I think was awesome. I think it did what it needed to do to stay in the meta. And if I th I think if we had a better one cost weapon, Viscerai aggro would be better. Something to do with Arcane, right? Yeah. So, once per turn action, if you played a non-attack action and an attack action that turn, it costs one to swing, it does two physical. If it hits, it deals two Arcane. That's interesting. Right? So it's still really strong, but you have two I think it's probably still now. too strong. Too strong still? I think that one, one resource for four damage is pretty strong like most heroes have to pay two to deal for yeah so like if you want if you want it to cost one i think it needs to deal three in some mix of the damage then i'm fine with it being a one for one yeah and then dealing two arcane i think the big big push for viscerai was having the two arcane on the the, the rosetta because you could do some good stuff the other thing is that it being a two cost um weapon does not work with grasp very well. So, like, I can't right. just grasp into uh, a weapon attack, right? It's still only one for three, technically. And then you don't like Reaping Blade just because... It's, just it's, a, not it's so easy to yeah. cleanly block. Like, if, if that's what my weapon is every time, you just one card block it every time. But a Reaping Blade is four damage on a blue. Like, you pitch to... Make yeah. a rune chant and then swing three. Yeah. Like, that's not bad. It's not terrible. Making your blues worth four is, like, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, even red. Um, even. You know what this deck doesn't have that I've been missing, though? Hmm. The one of red, red read the runes. Oh, are they not running any? None. That's why I'm worried about this deck with fatigue. So, going back to that, Dromai being gone, right? Like, she's she's... After week one, she's probably gone, right? Yeah. So I mean, she might be gone before that. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's two be. or three battle hardens yep. that happen. Yeah. So if she is, fatigue decks become an issue, right? Which, if fatigue decks are gone, the Reed's Rune package isn't in this deck. 
the other deck, the John guys deck, has mm -hmm. the read their own packages. So it's interesting. They can um, switch to more. Like, yeah. OTK. Up. Yeah. That's interesting. This is like the worst hand to start the game with. Um, Let's go. My turn? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's bad, but it's not terrible. Mordred mm -hmm. to a strike, pitching a rebel. Um, getting four ring chance. Yeah. Pass turn. It's a lot to let you cycle. Second? Second cycle? cycle? The second cycle? The, it's my favorite thing. Anytime someone says the term second cycle, I'm just like, what? Second? Talking about us? What are you talking about there? Uh, talking for two. Oh. You're cracking my sleeves. It's annoying me. All right. Um, I need you to be tunic turn. If what anyone the fuck? knows that making your blues worth four is good, it's the guardian guy. Yeah. I was actually going to make that comment, but I was just like, eh. <laughs> Clearly, I know that. But yeah, I mean that's what makes Guardian so strong, right? Why? Pitch a pitch a blue to your like Titan's Fist, your Winner's Will, your your three yeah. resources are worth four value. Like yeah. that seems like it could be worth it, but like the on hit on Nebula Blade is also very insane. good. So yeah. it's like it, it and I think that's I think that's what gets me like mentally like in a weird spot with Reaping Blade is that when you look at it on a normal turn, it's just a one for three. Yeah, it's just a one for three, and it. Doesn't feel great swinging. Very good in the end game, though. Yes, like it's a lot better than Nebula. It's, in the end it's game. a one card breakpoint. Yeah, but you have the potential five value off of Nebula, Nebula Blade, so it's like trade offs. You're driving me nuts. Sorry, I got to gunk in the edge of that corner of the sleeve. All right, um, no block there. Uh, reactions. Yep. Blade Runner. Yep. Take two. Yep. Uh, and then we will hatch it for three, six. Okay. Wait, oh, shit. We're so bad at this. We didn't use that once last game. I used it once on a nebula. <laughs> once. Uh, no block. Uh, I'm going to pump it to nine, and we don't have a nine, so I'm just going to do this. Okay. Take nine? Yeah. Refresh dynamos, go to arsenal. So much better on a two turn. Mops, guys? Yep. Consuming violation. Four and four on hit, create two on hit, discard a card if the arcane hits. Mm. I think we're okay with taking the four. Mm hmm. And then reactions. None. Uh, no fate for scene. Okay. Uh, believe that on top. Rebel? Yep. Go six. Closing chain. And we'll play swarming. Play a swarming. This coming for four? Six and four. Hmm. What's up, Adam? He hasn't seen him yet. No. No, I haven't sent him a picture. I still have him, Adam. I need to. Uh, I need to get him sent out to you. But I wanted to show him off first. Look at your beautiful cards. So. The bad, bad late. I think. I think I'm gonna take a bit of a setup turn here. Oh, Cromer. Look at that. We're gonna AB six. And then we're going to block with crown. And we're going to take the crown trigger. Mm -hmm. And we're going to draw the card that we saw off of the fate for scene. Okay. Take two? Yeah. Pass turn. Okay. Take up tunic. Yeah, what's in the beginning, Adam? Okay. Again, this is why I hate not having re read the runes in the deck. Warmongers. Because it could be so good. I think it. This is a two of in the deck? Yeah. Who chooses first? Uh, you do. Starting with the hero to your left. I do. You do. Peace. War. Yep. 
Oh, Arsenal? Yes. Yeah. Play become the Arc Knight? Yep. It's a carding attack action. That's good. Getting a non attack action. Drew's a real shit hand for this, but we'll make it work. <laughs> Adam, we're playing uh, Hatchet Dory into Viscerai. This is game two. Uh, he took the first game, and then after this game, we're going to switch into the KO list that got fourth. I think it was Joel Repta. Uh, we're going to play that into Viscerai. We figured it's Arcane's birthday, and Viscerai made a surprising uh, comeback in the Pro Tour, I guess. Didn't top eight, but like they were doing really good. Mm, incantation, we will... Oh, wait, this hand sucks. Wow. Pitch to create a rune chant. Yep. And then we will spend the other one to play an incantation. Okay. Give you that shit back. Uh, my hand is absolutely terrible following up Warmongers. Uh, it's four reds and all of them are non-attack actions. No, uh... <laughs> no reactions. Uh, None? Not a single one? No. Do you have any regards? Uh, I'm going to attack you for two. Well, actually, I might have a block here. I mean, if I draw a Blade Runner there or something, no. like this hand's insane. No. Uh, take two? Yep. Pass. Who's your, flavor who's your favorite blonde so far, Rob? Victor or Dory? So, I have always liked uh, oh, Dorinthia. Who is it? I was like, Mr. Bazing. What the fuck oh, kind of Mr. name is that? I'm Mr. like, oh, Bazinga. Mr. Bazinga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I've, oh. I've always liked Dory a lot. I think she's super cool. I'm glad that she's doing well. Sadie got rid of Marvel. I am too, but like, I didn't play the deck a lot at that time. Oh. I might actually start playing this a lot more because like, it's actually really fun. Yeah, I, this looks um, like your play style. So I would say Dory just because she's been in my life longer. Over who? Over Victor. Mm. Who's my favorite blonde? But like, it's Victor. Yeah, Dory. It's Dory. This Dory. So, so when good. when I first found out about Flesh and Blood, uh, this was three years ago, like shortly after Monarch came out. Um, I watched a couple like videos on how to play. I think Channel Fireball had like a really good one back then. And after watching the video, like, one time, I was sold, and I was like, I need to buy these cards. So I bought 40 cards to make an Ira deck and a Dorinthia deck. Those were the two, like, first decks that I ever owned for this game. This, that's this deck. Um, that's Jordan, right? Is that his name? You know the name, probably, at least. I don't get to watch YouTube as much. I hate it. All right. Alrighty, so we've uh, got... Joshua, you're uh, incorrect, but that's okay. Sonata? Yes. Pitching two into it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Perfect split. Two arcane at you. Uh, I think I'm going to take two here. Can you send me that, Adam? Alrighty, so we got a big hand to do some stuff with. We want to play them off, go to three. Yep. And play a drawn. Um, three and one. Draw card. We're going to take the three. And then we will block with a spoils of war. Hmm. Actually, if you send it to Rob, Rob can post it in YouTube. Don't, don't fucking send me anything. My DMs are not open. Yeah, send it to me. <laughs> what about this? Makovich. All right. Um, so we drew into a become. So can we make something crazy happen out of this turn? We probably can. We can go get a tome and see if it hits. 
Um, play the calm. Getting Didn't rid you of. Play... Huh? Didn't you play Sonata? Oh, it's still here. It's there. Why is it there? Because it hasn't mattered. You just yeah. Um. So we get rid of we we. So we have a become hand, right? We have two attacks, one non-attack in hand. We have a Mauvern Sky, so we can go again with something if we got another attack or use one of these attacks. But they're both blue attacks, so they're not going to push a lot of damage. Um, if I play the Amplify the Arc Knight, I can push a little bit um, and maybe pull his Dynamos because it's a break point. Um, and then Arsenal of Become the Arc Knight for the next turn to hopefully fix a hand if I get bad. But that's only going to push 4, 8, 9, 10 more damage this turn. I feel like I can push more than that. So we're going to close the chain. Okay. Um, we're going to play the Become the Arc Knight. Yep. We're going to discard the Vexing Malice. Okay. To non actually go get a non-attack. Yep. What are we going to get here? We're going to go get a Rebel. Rebel's pretty good. Um, so we go to two, and then we're going to create five, going to seven. Hmm. So, and now we get to play a Modern Skies. Yep. Going to eight. And we can still threaten this break point of eight and four, creating one. And we still get to Nebula Blade this turn. Are we on a Mordred this turn? We are not. So we're taking the eight for sure. Mm -hmm. We are on a Rebel this turn, so the on hit of the Nebula Blade doesn't really matter as much. So I think Dynamo is on the Amplify is way more important. This is definitely happening. Yeah. I think this play line was correct for me. So I'd be if I did what I wanted to, I'd be looking at taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more damage here. Or I can play the not greedy line and take. Three damage. But I like being greedy. <sighs> I'm locked for four. Mm -hmm. Now we will. One and. Friendly take tunic, sorry. Uh, one. Yep. And then we'll play it. Take it on the chin. Take two and make a ninja three token. That's pretty good. Start turn, this is going to pop, and then we are going to swing with a hatchet of body. Uh, this is coming in for two, go again. Um, we will block for two, dropping this card. Okay. Uh, we are going to close the chain. Yep. We are going to play hit and run. And then this is coming in for six. Take six. Uh, and then we're going to activate Tunic and then come in for three. Take three. God, that's actually really cool. It's so cool. Yeah. Deck is sweet. Yeah. Uh, pass back. Tunic. I feel like you're going to start playing her a lot more. I, she's super I, fun. The, just the, the the way that you value hands with this deck, I think this is so much more your play style. Yeah, it's not as defensive as any of the other ones, but I think you're still playing a value game in a different way. Yeah. And it's it's intriguing. Um, okay, so we get our rune chant. We're going to play Mauvern Skies. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a Drawn Pitching this card. Um, so one and three coming in on hit create one and then I draw a card. Where did you get the rune chat from? Incantation. Oh, okay. Yep. 
Uh, AB1. Yep. Block for three. Okay. Uh, and then we're just going to Nebula Blade. We'll block for four. Mm hmm. Take one. Oh, you're AB'd it. Never mind. You got the AB. You got the floating. All right. Arsenal pass. Uh, I'm going to take up Tunic and then go to Arsenal. Okay. Tunic. This pops. We are going to. We're going to play a risky turn. So, John, our modern skies. Mm hmm. Kitchen is drawn to play a Spellblade Strike, floating to going to two resources. Sorry, I can't let that hit. Hmm. No. Hold for you. Okay. Um, we are going to then play a draw on the dark dimension, hoping we hit a non-attack. Okay. We'll take the two rune chance. Yeah. And then block. We're gonna activate creepers. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to one to play. Um. Actually, sorry. Yep, no, you're good. There's no... Usually there's a mob on this. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I think you just, just eat one. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. you just take one there. Um, we will activate Creepers to play a Runic Reckoning. Yep. Going to two Rune Chance. And then we are going to send a Spellblade Strike. So two and five. Creating two on the back end. We'll take two. Mm-hmm. And then we'll block three and take yep. two. Yeah, usually there's mobs in front of the drones. Uh, I'm just going to take up Tunic, play a Goblet, and then pass by. Okay. We'll go to Tunic. Um, we're going to play a Lead the Charge. Okay. Actually, hold on. Ooh, this is a bad hand. I'd love to hear that. Mm, lead the charge into an Amplify the Arc Knight for mm -hmm. two and six. One extra point back. Uh, we're going to take the two. Adam, have you messed around with this deck at all? Out of curiosity? I gotta remember this guy's name too. We're gonna take the six. I think it's Jordan. Um, I'm going to Arsenal and pass. So we gambled and it paid off. Creeper stay. Get a resource. Uh, we are going to spill blood. Spill blood. Hmm. Hatchet of body for six, dominate. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the Meeps guy, Captain. I think his name is Jordan. I'm trying to remember his name. Um, he played on stream round one or two. I think two. I don't remember. Because he was one all. Six 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 eighteen damage. Uh, Jesus. Six seven seven. Yeah, Jesus. So oh. twenty. Whoa. Assuming these deal zero damage. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of them deals three plus. Oh. Yeah, I really need you to have like a non-explosive turn for this to work. Mm -hmm. I could afford to give you one card. 
So we take six here. block nothing here we go to five. Oh my god that's terrifying block four uh get wrecked nerd right take three three jordan wong thank you two three and how many cards do you have in there three Still blood's kind of nutsy in this deck. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I think I... I think I play another goblet. Jeez. And then swing the body for... Off tunic. Seven. Uh, for seven. Um, coming in for nine. We'll block one. Seven. Yeah. You said nine. I'm at nine. Here. Yeah, I take... I block one. Take, take six. Six. Refresh dynamos, arsenal, pass back. That's nuts. <laughs> That's so fucking insane. So we need to uh, find the cold foil hatchets now, don't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're 80 bucks. They're not bad for a set. They, well, they used to be like 15. <laughs> yeah. You done fucked up, Junior. Um, okay, so my turn is going to be a runic reckoning yep. into a crackle. 1-1 one, one, and 6. One, one, and six. This does not have go again currently, but you have creepers, but your creepers don't do a ton. Can you play an arsenal card off of creepers? Mm -hmm. So, like, you could, I guess you could technically tunic, creepers, revel, swarming, or something. I have one card in hand also. Yeah. That's why, like, it has to be yeah. a zero cost. Yeah. They both have to be zero costs, yeah. but it's possible. Um, that's why I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out yeah. if I'm blocking this. Eighty bucks for a coal foil is not that bad. Oh, coal foil weapons, are just, yeah. I think, They're crucible. I think I will. I'm gonna AB this. Where do they come from? Um, they are from uh, Monarch. Oh god. Yeah, maybe that's a little rougher. And then six. I think the game is ending. One There's one on Arcane on this, too. Okay, there you go. I think the game is ending very soon, so I'm going to give you the tunic here, and then go to blocks, mm -hmm. and we are going to wait for Sigma. Okay. Ooh, we'll leave that on top. We'll activate Creepers, pitching a blue. Playing a Rebel. Yep. Going to six. And yeah, then swing this for six and four. Six and four. That's fair, Joshua. That's fair. So I can AB. Agro, are you still hanging out? Go to one. Block draw. That's actually not bad. Um, so we'll AB four. Mm -hmm. Take two. Okay. And then we will sink below, and I'm going to sink this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to draw the card that we saw off the face. So. There you go. Pass. Okay. So start of turn, we're going to get a resource, which is going to let us swing hatch to a body for two go again. Block two here. Okay. Which is terrifying. So you're at three. Yep. So if I swing my weapon, I have to. You have to block it. You have to put one card in front yep. of it. This I had an agility token. Think... Hmm? This had an agility. This had an agility. Yeah. yeah. I played a goblet last turn. Yep. I think I just played the one warriors. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Isaac Brooks is the deck there creator. We go. His brother Isaac played it in PT along with his good friend Jordan Long. Okay. It sounded like it's a just, pencil. Yeah, it did. He has a one of those pink bones. Oh, okay. Um, so we choose war. Choose war. We choose war. I will also choose war. Um. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um. Man, that's interesting. I'm surprised you're choosing war. I have to pull this off and hope to God you don't. Okay. So. Are you choosing peace? Uh, no, I'm choosing more. Um. Yep. 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 yep, yep. We're gonna switch it back. Um. I have to play a little bit risk. Um. And hope to God you don't have it. Vexy Mouse. Yeah, you got it. Do I? Yeah. No take it on the chin. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, if I would have chose peace this turn, it would have been creating four ring chance and passing, and then you have a whole grip. Like, I can't do that. I think that's correct, though. Yeah, I think I have to play to the win, not to uh, not Even lose. if I do have it there, you're still taking two cards from me, and at best, it's going to be two, three, mm-hmm. and you can just block that out again. Um... So, if you swing with weapon there, what was the rest of my hand just now? It was that, and then what was the other card? Fuck, it was a strike. So, so you strike. you get an arsenal on this turn, too. So, so you blocking two cards in front of this, like, mm-hmm. isn't that bad for you? Because Visrai needs a three-card hand to function. So, you get to put two cards, hey, and then you get two. The Meeps is here. I saw him hanging out. Yeah, this is, this is an awesome deck, man. I am... Uh, I've been a Viscerai player for a long, long time. Um, unfortunately, I gave up on him for a little while there. Um, and I've been playing this deck for a couple days now, and I'm I'm truly enjoying it. I, I'm seeing the play lines. It's very cool. It's very different. I so am, if you swing that last weapon real quick, um, and I have to block, I think I block here, and then my turn back is Mordred Swarming Nebula. So I'm still pulling one... One, two, yeah. Yeah, you're in a really good position, even if I did have it, I think. How did we summon this man? <laughs> Adam, are you summoning people? Okay. Um, the, in the KO now? The KO deck is here. Yep. Do you want the marble? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what I sideboard out for that. We obviously play for just this. I'm going to have to grab a soda in a second. Uh, I don't think I play A, B into you. I don't think so either. I think I just try to aggro, right? He's dead? Yeah, we, we died. I think it's talking about me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's dead with that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm at two, so I'm at one. If So if that yellow in my hand was a blue, I live at one there, which is way better because um, then on my turn I pull the cards from you hopefully I get to block back out and then maybe just try to find the pressure yeah but yeah having the yellow instead of the blue I think oh no it was a blue Jordan what? since you're here now what what do you play into kale I'm very curious on this um I'm gonna go grab a soda while I wait for that answer because I don't know what the answer is yet I haven't played Tesla Kale yet. Uh, I don't I think idea, I want the no fears, so we're probably gonna cut those. Um, do I? Is this a cast bones matchup? This Ko deck is weird. I don't really get how they sideboard. How many cards do I have there? Uh, this is Elias, not Jordan. No worries. All are welcome. Play the default sixty. Awesome job with the deck. This is like the one deck that he knows. What do you say? What do you say? Default 60. Default 60, which I think is this. 30. I gotta remember how many cards are in the... 
We got five. Five equipment. So I am currently over by five with not playing these. Oh, what do I not bring in? Blues? Do I ever cut blues? Swing big, wild ride, runner, runner. No, I feel like I want those. Take one amplify out. Clash of agility. This deck's weird, dude. I don't need to charge. I'll get Come the engine conquer. Jordan, okay. also because you're in here now. This is Elias. Oh, this is Elias? I'm sorry. Um, so, Elias, out of curiosity, um, I keep referring to Jordan because Jordan's the one that I saw at the PT. Um, out of curiosity, now that Dromai is leaving, where do you think this deck goes? Because my iterations of Viscerai has always had like a semi OTK package in it with like ninth blade and four to five read the runes. Um, so that you could try to beat fatigue with that setup, which is what we've me and you've tested that deck a lot, mm -hmm. and that's the only time I ever beat you when you're playing fatigue guardian decks, right? Um, is getting that big pop off turn like that. Um, I don't know what you would even look at. I don't know. The CNCs are interesting in this deck for me, I think I would cut those for read the runes. I feel like there's a lot of setup decks right now. There so are. CNCs seem okay. East strikes are good for values, though. <sighs> is it, is it never, running East strike? Yeah, it's got two East strikes in it. That's that's one card that I've never liked. Joshua, I could probably play this deck better than Chris can. Probably. How did you it's do with this deck? A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what's really sad is that I, I enjoyed it for a little bit. It's fun. It's a super fun deck. You don't like read the runes. Oh, <laughs> oh, buddy. I feel like that is a pet card of yours, though. Is it? I think so. At least a one of. Got to have the one of the right. This deck doesn't play rattle bones either. I mean, I don't know how to I change. Know. I don't know how to change, <laughs> Rob. Yeah, that's interesting. I do. I, I. That's one change that I'm going to make for sure is cutting one CNC for a read the runes because. Uh, Wyatt, this list is actually the top four list. This is uh, Joel Repta's list. So it's got a uh, tear limit for limit, right? I didn't have to do anything, and yeah, and it's running uh, beaten trackers. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. I was trying. All right. I was fucking trying. <laughs> Such an ass. Even run. Even. Your choice. All right. Uh, Joshua, nothing. The, the the fucking real answer lately is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going first. Yep. Um, so we start with Tunic. Mmm. so much but we are going to i'm presenting zero ab yeah. rattle bones isn't as good with nebula because you can't rattle bones swarming sword that makes yes 100 sense and there's isaac what isaac brooks yeah that you guys just said the other that meeps was isaac no elias. Elias. elias okay damn we got the whole crew in here now tonight now what what happens if i fuck up now do i get yelled at like uh, dark you get your is... marvel taken away no <laughs> The uh, the purple council not, will judge here, you. Here, here, we'll play with this one. Oh, now you're gonna lose. Uh, yeah, that's fucking <laughs> true. I almost got this one signed this weekend, and then I sat there thinking about it, and I'm like, well, that's the one I let people read. This is the uh, my my rainbow foil version. Oh, sure. sure. So I keep it in the yeah. box because it's German. So I was gonna get it signed, and I'm like, well, then people can't read it still, so like it defeats the purpose. So we create a rune chant. We got one floating. We're gonna play. Mobs, guys, mm -hmm. and then play a Spellblade Assault. So we throw one damage, get one damage through, and we create two rune chants with a little setup. 
and get an um, arsenal. Slightly unfortunate. We really wanted to keep the blue, but that's okay. Um, we'll block. Uh, that's true, sorry. Isaac. I didn't even think about it. Like It's so different playing Nebula Blade. One second. Draw back up with you. We'll take a tunic. And then we're gonna start the turn off by playing what the fuck happened? Wild ride. Oh god, we got upside down cards. Uh this one. Wild ride. Yep. Six go again. And then we make a light token. Which I definitely remembered to bring. And they are there. Um, oh man. Oh. I'm going to eat dinner. Hope you enjoy the list. Yeah, it's been really sweet so far, man. Thanks for uh, dropping by, though. Spend the last, this next weekend listening to all the information. Uh, Cook, uh, Chance and Dagger sent me it. So, um, all right. So, we are going to want to. And thanks for stopping in. Play that. That. Um, we're off, so all that doesn't work out the way we want. Unfortunately, we have a really bad hand. Um, don't know how we set up with this hand either. So is this just a blocking hand? Um, this might just be a blocking hand. Coming in for six. For six. I think we just do block six. Okay. Um, I think with you going down to three cards, you're probably not going to do a crazy amount on your turn. So I think I'm just going to claw for three. Mm. Catfish Big Bass. How's it going, man? I love that name. <laughs> Can't play with it like that. Yeah, what is he doing? Holding the fucking blade? Listen. <laughs> what? If you had it the other way, well, like he's holding. Why the... it said this was the right side, but yours was on that side. Yeah. So how is mine on the right side? Because the claw's facing this way. If you have this here, he's holding on to the blade of the Weapons sword. Weapons always go on the right side. <laughs> God damn it. Coming in for three. Here for the viz list. Uh, How's it going, Josh? Uh, yeah, sounds good. Um, so I could have thrown a bigger attack to end this turn, but with you giving me two cards already, I think you're going to have a pretty weak turn. Yeah. So I think I want to set up an arsenal for a bigger turn. That's fair. My turn's going to be Tunic Pass. Yeah, that's, that's a very good pass. Ooh, we're cheating out here. Go. Pop the knight. Okay. Um... Shut up, Wyatt. So we're going to play a wild ride. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. I drew that. I didn't even know that, that was oh. in my hand. Uh, we're going to hit a pulping. Uh, so I will take one damage and draw this pulpit. Oh, no, you're holding the spiky bits. The spiky bits. <laughs> uh, we're going to take six here. You're going to take six? Yeah. You're a madman. I kind of want to scabs. <laughs> I was just going to ask, how soon until we scabs here? <laughs> We don't though. We we play it smart. Oh, and then I get a might token again. Uh, so draw a card. She had power turn. Do we try to have a power turn back? I think we do. Um, oh, you bitch. She... <laughs> Let's go play that. Oh. Uh, um, six dominate. We're gonna block two. Yep. Take four. Take four. 
Problem is, my weapons always go on the right, no matter what they look like, so I can't move it. It's just weird not having the um, ring chance on that and side. And then I think, I think you're not blocking, so you're gonna try to do something crazy. So I think I also need another strong hand next turn. So you're instead strong. of, huh? With your strong hand? Yeah. Okay. I think instead of sending another six, we're probably just gonna end on a claw and arsenal. We're going to pop our balance. Yep. 